what we do to help people to make progress in their lives through learning is completely, uh, is always with the right intention. One, two, three, four, well, we're here today, Education International, together with our member organisations from the US, the UK, and importantly, from Kenya, Uganda, and South Africa, to deliver a very clear message to the Pearson AGM. Get out of privatising schools in Africa. Pearson is supporting a corporate actor called Bridge International Academies. Its business plan is predicated upon the employment of unqualified staff delivering a curriculum that is not recognised by the countries in which they're operating in facilities that are substandard. Rich runs close to 500 schools that are not registered. Schools that, that do not meet the minimum requirements of the law in, in Kenya. The mapping of the location of the schools is not meant to assist those who cannot access education. It is strategic to make profit out of high population concentration of poor citizens and poor children who are unsuspecting. We know their privatisation is making families look very hard at their costs. They're educating the firstborn boy, girls not getting a look in, the poorest not getting a look in. Y Uganda has so many schools that have been opened by bridge academies, yet these schools are not registered. Court ruled that these schools should close. Bridge is acting in contempt of court and it is supported by Pearson. They are turning education into a commodity and selling our kids education. Remember, you and goals. Your violence has to go. Hey, 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 ho, ho. Your violence has to go. Hey, 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 ho, ho. Your violence has to go. What we see in the United States is their corporatization of um, the testing industry. Um, and what I heard today was a business plan in which they want to make money off of the backs of um, college students. If it is to redeem its image, to make sure that it withdraws its investments from bridge academies, and also compare bridge academies to stop the profiteering from the poor, all they are interested in is making huge profits at the expense of the, t of the learners, at the expense of teachers, as well as at the expense of education. We're held accountable as teachers in our classrooms each and every day. The leadership, um, the board, and uh, the CEO, CEO need to be held accountable to their dismal results and their business practices.